Hi, this is Deborah Baker with Trusted CISO. And today I'm going to be talking about the cloud responsibility model. And remember to hit subscribe and like. So 76% of respondents, and this was for CISO MAG's cloud security survey, believe that the cloud service provider is responsible for the security of the cloud. I went to a conference and I met another CISO and I was talking to him about what tools and things like that, that does he model his network? Does he do threat modeling? And he told me that he didn't have a network because they put everything into Google Cloud and Google Cloud manages it. And that was a really scary statement for me because you as a customer are always responsible for your own data. Three different services, cloud services, there's more than this, but these are the main ones. You have your SaaS, which is software as a service, your platform as a service, and your infrastructure as a service. And I'm going to go into these in more detail. Now, the SaaS, which is the software as a service, this is essentially where you're able to run the application in the cloud. So you don't have to install an application on your workstation or laptop. It includes the infrastructure. <clears throat> All of them include the infrastructure, storage, networking, Plus, the cloud service provider also provides the applications, the underlying operating systems, middleware, container orchestrators, and the underlying applications. So essentially, all you have to do is log in and use the software. So a good example of this is Office 365 or O365. And you can buy a license, use it, and you don't even have to install it on, on your machine. You are still re responsible for your own data. And that doesn't matter whichever level you're at. And we're going to get more into the details of what you're responsible for and what the cloud provider is responsible for. Now, for platform as a service, this is for, it's a development environment. It includes the infrastructure. So your server, storage, networking, plus the operating system. So you can just say, well, you know, I want to I want to use Linux or Windows or whatever it is that you need to develop on. And they already have it set up. So you could have a secured, hardened version if you want. It includes middleware, container orchestrators, and any underlying software. So all you have to do is manage the applications and services that you are developing. And then finally, there's infrastructure as a service. And this, you basically, the most responsibility <clears throat> is on the customer. The infrastructure is managed for you, the server, storage, networking, but you actually install your own operating system. So now it's your responsibility to patch that operating system. So now we're going to talk about shared responsibility. And sure that you have good backups, offline backups, offsite backups. Now for the platform as a service, there's a little bit more responsibility that the customer has. So the you know, the operating system, you, you can say, well, you know, I want the hardened Linux or just regular Linux. But there may be some configurations that you need to make there. Network controls, for example, would be like your network access control lists, your security groups. It could be making your security, making your um, S3 bucket private and not public. So these are settings that are, it's up to the customer to make these settings in order to secure the data. 
And then infrastructure as a service is actually where the customer has the most responsibility. So the infrastructure, the physical, the networking, that's all provided. But from the operating system up, you have to install your own operating system, maintain the licensing, ensure that you're, you know, patching it and all the software that you're using. So, so the customer has much more responsibility for the infrastructure as a service. Thank you so much for watching. This is Deborah Baker with Trusted CISO. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you'll get notifications for new videos that I publish. Thanks for watching.